Hello and welcome fellow gearheads, it's your guy Kai and again I'll be bringing you one step closer to that VIP. Now in the last video we talked about you know finding the character that really resonated with us that we would stick with and how to grow with them in kind of a macro sense right well in this video what i want to do is use training mode to kind of build a framework build up a routine that we're going to use before we go online that way we can just slowly build ourselves up over time you know and that way we can really focus on our character strengths eliminate weaknesses in certain matchups we're not comfortable with and ultimately just grow one percent better every day that way the celestial challenge seems less like a uh, you know irritability and more like an inevitability that's the kind of mindset we want to approach this with so without any further ado let's get started before we go into training mode i want to make sure we have the correct notation being displayed when we get there so what we're going to do from the main menu is go down to settings system settings and switch over attack button display format and what this is going to do is when we press you know our buttons on our controller whether it be a b x y whatever it'll actually show us on the side what we're actually pressing in terms of the game and this is very important for just you know subconsciously learning what button does what and that way you're just familiar with the language you're going to use when you come across another one of the videos we have here on the channel or you just hear people talking about the game it's a pretty big tip if you're brand new and i think a lot of people need to set this it's not set this way by default but let's keep it moving all right now let's get into training mode i'll be using my boy leo here of course and demonstrate you can follow along with any character you wish but if you are part of the pride let me know down in the comments i'm thinking of doing an in-depth leo guide as well so the first thing we're going to learn to use training mode here for is what i like to call converting with conviction and what this means is when we make contact with our character whether it be on hit or on block we need to be getting close to our character's particular win condition everyone in strive has a pretty clear win condition if you think about it and do you guys want to guess what leo's is yes sir it's the fucking stance now it's not too hard to get a stance off his bread and butter that's not what we use training mode for what we use training mode for is learning how to optimize out of edge case situations and not only doing max damage but also ending the combo in a way that gives us access to our win condition right so for leo here it's getting to the stance now let me demonstrate um we're gonna set the bot here to jump and we're instead of doing an anti-air right we're gonna do we're gonna practice our air to air situations and not just doing damage but also getting to our stance i'll start by using my old conversion and then we'll start by looking at my new conversion Now with the old conversion, I did pretty good damage and got pretty good wall carry, but I didn't get to stance. And with the new conversion, nope. I was able to do roughly the same amount of damage and get to stance. This is huge because with the new yes. conversion, I have access to the win condition. And with that, right, I don't have to think when, I, when the person gets up um, if I'm going to get another hit. It's only a matter of win because I got to my win condition. And this mental shift is going to be huge because it puts you in the driver's seat you get that much more return on your hits. And hits are just gonna be so much more meaningful that way. That's what I mean by converting with conviction. And air to airs aren't the only place where we can find these in training mode. Let me show you a few others. So jump ins are pretty rare in Strive compared to other 2D fighters for a bunch of different reasons, but you still need to be ready when you get them on hit or on block and convert with conviction. Remember, on hit when we land our jump ins, we already have that extra damage, right? The jump in hit in itself. So we can focus on changing our combo route to kind of reduce the damage, but in exchange, we'll get access to our win condition, which in this case for Leo is stance, right? And on block, we can do a similar thing, right? If we place our jump in low enough, there'll be just enough blocks done for Leo to do extra mix ups or uh, get to just, just do raw stance, right? Um, because there are people are just locked out of mashing as a viable option either they'll give me a giant counter hit or they'll just be pushed too far away from the jump in to really do anything about me getting to stance and even in the corner the thought process is the same yes we could wall break but why reset neutral neutral is like the least convenient thing ever that we're gonna cash out get our damage pull them out of the corner and look at that we're converting with convenience yet again do you hear what i'm trying to tell y'all so even with the back to the wall it doesn't matter we can use resources on block if we have to and play to the win con no matter what you really need to try and convert with conviction and of course this applies to counter hits as well right there's one hit counter hit in particular i want you guys to focus on specifically in training mode and that's your crouch dust the universal sweep it's a pretty good button for most characters uh some more than others but on counter hit 
I really want you guys to think outside the box and try to figure out how to get to your win con because I see way too many people doing sweep and yes it's a hard knockdown but they don't do anything with that counter hit sweep you already got a hard knockdown push the envelope and get a real reward from it once you know what you want to do in practice mode just practice these conversions for about two to three minutes as part of your warm-up now knowing what to do when you make contact and visually assessing if you make contact are two totally different things so let's begin to dig into the training tool and learn how to properly hit confirm it's as simple as going to opponent status and switching their guard to random backing out from there and what we're going to do now is a two hitting gapless block string and follow up with our particular hit response if they don't block and a particular response we want on block if they do block and running this drill while rotating between all those meaningful conversions we talked about before will kind of train your eyes and ears to confirm the situation so you don't mistake an on block situation for a on hit one and get exploded for it over time some moves you'll be able to hit confirm off of just one hit um, especially counter hits right because of the slowdown effect so if you want to see what your counter hit confirms look like we can set that up by setting the bots to block like we did before and either counter attack jab or counter attack um, you know like a crouch jab during our block strings with gaps in them so we'll be ready for people trying to mash when they're not allowed to you may even find a frame trap or two you didn't even know your character had i found a couple with leo doing this very drill and so if you ever wonder how you know pro players like kizzy k or um lord knight hit these really ridiculous confirms consistently it's because they run this drill daily and kind of have their uh eyes and ears trained to respond appropriately to the particular situation so yeah two minutes with this drill should do the trick so naturally you know as we're building up our hit confirm ability we're converting with convictions our opponents are just going to start recognizing how terrifying we are on offense and they're going to begin to use resources to defend themselves from our particular win condition right and so what we need to do now is start building the last layer of our offense to um, kind of bait these resources right now we want to start practicing our burst baits and our yellow roaming cancel bait so to set this up we're going to go in the training settings opponent status and near the bottom where it says automatic uh, yellow roman cancel and blue psych burst we're going to adjust the particular hit amounts to fit our particular combo route or block string whatever you need for your character in relation to your win condition so for leo here it's actually pretty simple because no one wants me to get into stance right so once people see me get into stance uh they usually burst as they're getting up before the mix really hits them or they you know they try to take the mix and then they finally get hit and then they burst we're going to cover for that too or some people even um yrc as soon as they're able to block any portion of the mix right um you know it's a pretty good strategy but we can go ahead and start building against it and leo actually has a pretty good answer for all three of these situations right i can literally just dance cancel let me demonstrate so here we cover um them bursting as they get up here we're here we're going to cover them bursting once the mix actually starts happening and here we're going to start um baiting the particular yrc once they block i have one or two hits of the mix now for some characters baiting resources is a lot easier than others right doing this with someone like ram is super easy especially when she gets people in the corner but the thought process coupled with your experiences in game um will net you a lot of different situations that you'll start to realize are in your favor actually so the greatest thing is though, once you find these spots, it'll become less about practicing the baits and more about just practicing the super juicy punishes. Because normally, you know, someone baits a burst, you get a humongous counter hit or, you know, a big punish and the same thing for the yellow Roman cancel. So I start by giving this about three minutes of practice just to find one or two spots every time you come into training mode. And then you can take it down to one minimum, one minute minimum and just focus on the punishes in particular. All right, we've built up enough offense, but let's talk defense. More specifically, matchup specific responses, taking situations that we've been through and building countermeasures so we aren't overwhelmed the next time. This is very important uh, if we want to grow consistently, but this does take some time to set up and some training of know-how, but that's why I'm here. First thing we're going to do is go to our button settings and set a record and play button. This is not set by default. You can put it on something offhand. Don't let it mess with your macros, right? And then in trading settings, we're going to go over to the recording settings and turn this here to start slightly late and we're going to enable play after position reset with these settings we'll have some time to prepare what we want the bot to do and they'll do it every time we reset the screen 
now let's use soul to set up a pretty standard situation first thing we're going to do is press record that's going to activate the bot then we're going to press record one more time and that's going to start the recording and after we do what we want to do the third time we press record it will save it so now that we reset the screen right the question is what are our characters options versus what souls doing and what can soul do to counter them so you know let's just do a general situation right or you know a general response so using dust loop we know soul is plus two on block and from experience we know right he wants to either condition us to block so he can grab us or he's going to try and fish for a counter hit uh once we try to contest the pressure running the recording a few times you you can begin to see um, when we're outside the corner, we can use follows defense to create some space and take grab out of the equation, right? Now I can only fish for counter hit. But chances are he'll try to gun flame to lock us down um, if we try to not press anything and just try to jump out or back dash, right? Now Leo here is too slow to really jump over gun flame in a lot of different spots. And we need to be prepared to handle uh, pressure in the corner as well, right? Since we have limited mobility. So after running this for another minute or so, I was actually able to figure out that Leo can punish all of Soul's special cancel options with DP even outside the corner. In yes! fact, Leo can even contest buttons after far slash on block as well if Soul continues to take his turn with the plus two. Now, of course, just DPing uh, every time we block far slash is a risky maneuver, but with burst at round start and even meter in some cases, right? Um, as long as Leo shows that he's willing to uh, do the DP, Soul will have to think twice before he just keeps pressing buttons after far slash on block, which means Leo can start to take a uh, pretty passive solutions like backdash or just trying to jump out, right? And I know this sounded like a lot, but you know, just a couple minutes looking at this frustrating situation and being able to look at it objectively in training mode, right? Um, things become a lot more easier to see, right? And this only took five minutes tops, right? You'd be surprised how easy it is to counter something like Dolphin Spam or like uh, Milia Mix-Up or Axel's Pressure once you actually uh, build responses for it and you're able to look at it objectively through this lens. So for things like this, you know, whatever is making you frustrated, just spend about two minutes focusing uh, on that specific situation, set it up with the ball, and just try to figure out all the different things you can do and start to build a habit of going to these things that you've practiced instead of just getting upset and uh, getting hit by the same thing over and over and over over. And the most important thing to really build this habit of going and building countermeasures is going to uh, when you queue up for ranked in the online lobbies, uh, just queue up inside a training mode. That way, if you win and you fought something tough or you lose and something just pissed you off, you'll be right in training mode. You can set the bot here to just get ready to go and you'll be set. It's very, very easy to do. And I guarantee you, you will get gains because you're already doing the hardest thing, which is going to training mode by default. Fortunately, now that we can use the record and play functions, we can practice the forbidden art of option selects. Option selects require another video entirely to explain, but basically they allow you to make the right choice in several different outcomes or possible game states. And yes, it is pretty technical, but necessary in a game like this, where there's just so much to consider at all times. So <clears throat> don't worry though, uh, I'll be linking you guys a diaphone's video on the topic with a number of option selects he goes over he explains them all really well and it's going to help you grow but everything i mentioned before you really need to focus on that's more of the uh, beginner friendly stuff when you feel like you're at an intermediate level then you can start messing with option selects they are very very useful and uh, kind of a gateway to higher levels of play remember guys celestial and vip is an inevitability just take it one step at a time just focus on any one of these exercises for a few minutes before you start your matches for the day and you will get those games you'd be surprised how far you can take strive i guarantee you a lot of people are doing these drills they're just not telling you so as always guys uh, if you have any questions or concerns feel free to let me know down in the comments we're almost at a thousand subs thank you guys so much for the support we got a lot more content planned uh, but yeah that is it for this one uh, thank you guys so much for watching again and get out there and play some guilty gear